Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and it's time for another from my bookshelf which I actually hope to build a bookshelf one day but what book do I have with me today it's the Rolling Stones 1972 photographs by Jim Marshall forward by Keith Richards right here it's a pretty small book but what is in it is gigantic do you like how I did that it's gigantic first off the book is under 15 bucks for this amazing hardback uh, compilation of Jim Marshall photos what is really, really great about it is that it not only shows the all access that Jim Marshall got, because you see photos of Keith Richards and Mick Jagger behind the scenes in the dressing rooms, wearing women's clothes, smoking cigarettes, drinking Jack Daniels, doing all of the different things that most people never got a chance to ever capture. But you also get the live end of it. There's a whole section, it literally goes from the candid photos and then it jumps to the live photos. So it's a really awesome look at the 1972 Rolling Stones Stones tour and it gives you a look that again is unprecedented because you can't really get photos like this not many people got the access to do it but Jim was able to do it I'm a big fan of Jim's work I like to think that you know my work is very similar to his and that's why we kind of got along a little bit when we met a few times and that was really amazing getting to go out to dinner or get to go have a drink with him uh, because how many people actually got to go out and have a drink with Jim which was great Ari got to join me for a couple of those um, but really it's a fantastic book especially for 15 bucks if you're into music photography if you're into photography in general I would think about picking this up on Amazon you can see the link below and you know, just looking at it. I love collecting photo books, especially music photo books. They're inspiring. If you're ever stuck, you just take a look at them. So what I want to do right now is read you some, some samples from this book, just so you can see some of the words that are written, and then decide for yourself if you'd like to pick it up. So stay tuned for that. Marshall was a big-time photojournalist before the term was invented. When he lived in New York, he worked for the top glossy photo magazines, Life, Look, Saturday Evening Post, and his shots graced the covers of literally hundreds of album covers, from Miles Davis to Johnny Cash. His landmark photographs of Jimi Hendrix burning his guitar, Bob Dylan kicking a tire, or Janis Joplin snuggling up to her Southern Comfort bottle were cornerstone pieces of an emerging field of rock photography. At age 36, Marshall was already the industry's grand old man. Throughout his entire career, Marshall battled for access. Without free access, he couldn't do what he did, breathe in the moments and freeze them on film. The Stones knew Marshall. Even without the clout of the Life magazine assignment, Marshall was a formidable figure. Like Jagger and Richards, he walked around armed and hammered, a pistol somewhere on his person, a shot of bourbon or scotch near at hand, and more than his ration of coke up his nose, if he could manage it. Marshall could be querulous, abrasive. He didn't fit into the Stones' inner circle with the same ease as patrician Ethan Russell, who had been little more than an amateur photographer when he first hopped aboard the Stones' touring party in 1969, and who, also, who, who was also along for parts of the 1972 ride. Nothing escaped Marshall's penetrating eye. Even in the short time and limited space accorded him, Marshall harnessed the essence of this band. His photographs of unshaven Keith Richards, cigarette between his lips, strumming an acoustic guitar at Sunset Sound has been published many times, although it wasn't in the original Life magazine article. He caught Jagger backstage before a show in a pink dressing gown, Pete's ascot around his neck, leaning on a cane talking to Miss Mick Taylor, one of the greatest candid portraits of Jagger ever. Even standing next to a beautiful woman in an impossibly short skirt, Jagger dominates the landscape. He radiates star quality his electrifying presence glowing even with his engine running at idle. Marshall's photographs are powerful because they tell the truth. He never tried to manufacture an image to suit a musician. He photographed them as he saw them, and in his eyes, these people look larger than life, which is how he brought them to us. That is exactly what is so extraordinary about the photographs Marshall took those few days he was with the Stones. He shows them to us both as stars and as mere mortals, and they are all more impressive because he does. Their steely magnificent sh magnificence shines back through Marshall's Leica. His shots were always impeccably composed. He rarely cropped his images and never resorted to darkroom tricks. Once he clicked the shutter, the photograph was done. With Marshall, it was all about his eye. His finger may have been on the shutter button, but his gut pulled the trigger. 
For more information about the Rolling Stones 1972 Photos by Jim Marshall book, please click the link below and it will take you to Amazon. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Are you subscribed yet on the YouTube channel? Well, click this subscribe button right here. Also click this box if you want to be emailed every time I upload a new video so you can get the latest video uploads as they happen. And also, if you haven't signed up for the free user's guide, sign up right here. Put your name, email address in here, hit send it. You will get a free ebook sent to your email as well as a link to a 60 minute long video on flash photography in the studio that Adam and I created. So please do that and we'll see you.